Oh, this thing is handling the snow like it was meant to be. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Wait, let me just see. Do I have... Oh, yeah, I do have a winch. Oh, you pick up speed oh, look after at you, you you've gone. <laughs> oh, you pick up a lot of speed. Oh, I rolled. <laughs> Wait, are you good? Uh, I'm still rolling. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can... Oh, oh, good job. We got a snorkel. <gasps> All right, guys. So, welcome to SnowRunner. This is one of the games, as I'm sure it's the same for you, that I'm most looking forward to this year because I had an absolute blast with Taco, as a lot of you may know, and a bunch of friends are even playing solo on Mud Runner. Now, there's a couple of things I would like to say before we get started. First off, I would like to give a massive thank you to SnowRunner and Focus Home Interactive for sponsoring today's video and helping support the channel. SnowRunner is available right now for PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. As always, there is a link in the description which you can click and it will take you right to where you can get the game for yourself. Now, as I mentioned at the start, SnowRunner is the successor to MudRunner and the game was basically expanded on the already cool features that MudRunner originally had, including 11 new untamed sandbox maps that are up to four times bigger than those of MudRunner. And if you've played MudRunner before, you already know how big the maps were and what a challenge it was to get across them. And it's all powered on the game's advanced physics engine. It also has brand new extreme terrain, which has its own challenges that you've got to find the best path possible so you can deliver your goods in the safest possible way. Or you can do what I love to do and what I did a lot in MudRunner and just go completely crazy trying to explore all the challenging terrain you can. Now, this one is, I think, something a lot of players are going to enjoy. You can now customize the way your trucks look and the way it performs with a complete fully rendered interior. So basically, you can make a truck that fits your own style whichever way you want to make it. The hundreds of missions available can be taken on in a completely open way, either in single player or multiplayer, as you're going to see in today's video, in co-op groups of up to four players. So with that being said, I can't wait to jump in and take a look at all the new changes, but I do want to remind you all again that there is a link in the description if you guys are interested in getting the game for yourself. Once again, thank you so much to SnowRunner and Focus Home Interactive for sponsoring today's video. Look how pretty the game is. It is. I mean, the game Mudrunner was always pretty too, but this they've definitely stepped it up a notch with this. All right, let's just go. I'm going to take it really slow. Same here. <laughs> driving low gear. When driving on rough terrain, you can switch to low gear. It'll show you. It'll slow you down, but will lower the risk of getting stuck. L1 and right stick to move left and to activate low. Okay, so let's activate low. There we go. And get rid of that. Holy moly, yeah, this, this feel, it feels a bit like uh, Mud Runner. Just how, uh, how much mud there is. <laughs> all wheel drive, right? <laughs> your truck is all wheel drive capable. The all wheel drive will also help you get through the terrain, but will increase your fuel consumption. L1 and I think it was square, wasn't it? Yeah, there you go. Oh, now we're cooking. Look at that. All wheel drive. Should get out of low gear. Okay. When you're on normal terrain. Oh, there we go. Right, so we can stay engaged in all-wheel drive on normal terrain, though, right? Oh, no, because uh, it uses yeah. more fuel, doesn't it? It does use more fuel, yep, 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 definitely. Something about the camera. Oh, they've that's what they fixed. In Mudrunner, it was, it was kind of awkward with the camera, but my God, it's such a difference now. Oh, yeah, you can actually move around comfortably. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going on to normal road now. We're coming off the mud. Right, let's disengage all-wheel drive. Come on, make it. There we go. Oh, yeah. I got to drive on the right-hand side of the road, right? Because America? Yes. Right. Oh, yep, I know yep, took you've it already the started railings. doing things correct by saying garage. So I guess we can go left and then cut through that dirt road and then go up and round. Or we can go around that. Which way do you want to go? Do you want to go right or left? Uh, let's go right. So it's the first intersection you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first bit, yeah. Want yeah, to go, go right? right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you also noticed where we are, Taco? Michigan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw that at the beginning of Michigan, USA. It caught my eye. Love it. Oh, there we go. All right. I'm break off. Oh, yeah. This is it. Wait, actually, they've done the interiors now as well. Look at the interior of this truck. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> All right. I'm coming out of the truck just for a second because I don't want to break everything. There's some muddy bits over there. Is that where we need to go? 
Oh, wait. Yeah, we can go up there. There's a little muddy section, Taco. Uh, with, mm -hmm. like, two little um, ponds and stuff. Go right across that. So, engage all-wheel drive. And then... Give it the beans. Go on. Get up there. Go on, you beautiful truck. You can do it. Get up. Oh, yeah. Slowly move it to the right. Oh, this is a breeze. Taco, are you a Chevrolet guy or a Ford guy? Uh, Chevy guy. Oh, okay. We're going to have major arguments, dude. <laughs> well, I've never really been one for whatever catches my eye at that time. You like the, uh, what do you call them? The beaters? The beater trucks? You like those old workhorses, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything that you can, uh, old, old farm trucks and stuff. Heck yeah. Whereas my truck of choice would be a Ford F-150 Raptor. Holy, yep. that truck is amazing. Yeah, you have, you have different style when it comes to that. You like them blacked out. And oh, crazy. yeah. It's Super stealth look. Am I going the right way here? Right, so, oh, yeah, yeah. So I keep going this way. Gonna pull in, see what it does. Should reveal the area. Launch observation. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, we're definitely used to this. Getting a watchtower and seeing the surrounding area. Okay, so does that open everything up now? Oh, it does. So we've got a wider area. Still some parts blacked out, but I think that might be the edge of the map down there. This way, we haven't really discovered yet. So one thing to note as well is that there's 11 brand new maps. <laughs> and they're four times bigger than the ones in Mudrunner. <laughs> I know, that's what I, I remember that. <laughs> so much to play around with. It's insane. Come on, you beautiful little thing. It's really working that steering wheel too. Come on, get over there. Come on. Little bit of power. Oh, wait, does the, do the dials actually work as well on the dash? Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. You can actually see it working. Like, the engine's really working overtime in that, like, thick stuff. Right, so do we want to go that way? Let's have a quick look again. No, I want to go straight down. All right. If you're stuck, you can try using your winch and see if there's anything around for you to attach it to. Okay, I used to love doing this. Right, so up on the D-pad to open that. Attach winch. I want to mount it to... Which one should we mount it to? The front one there and then that tree, I guess. And then press triangle to pull your winch. Oh my... Oh! It pulls the tree over. <laughs> straight up pulls the tree over. Wait, let me see if we can get a good look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> straight up pulling the tree. Get up there. Come on. Give it the beans. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Right, so how do I disable winch? Release winch. Come on, you beautiful tree. Pull me over. Oh, yeah. There we go. And then release winch. Like a pro. Oh, yeah. Right, so straight down here to the left should be the starting point where we were. Oh, no. Oh, is this, this the bridge that you were talking about? The bridge is out? Yeah. Yep. Reading terrain, you will encounter different kinds of terrain, such as road, dirt, mud, deep mud, water, rocky slides, snow, and ice. Only the most experienced drivers with well-equipped vehicles can drive on any kind of terrain. When in doubt, there is no shame in avoiding danger. You can find out more about different types of terrain in the codex available from the options menu. Okay, well, as much as I just want to ram through those, like, warning barriers, let's play it safe. Let's go this way. All right, let's engage all-wheel drive. I hope there's, did you say there's a fuel station? Oh, it's over there on the right. I didn't see that. All right, I'm pulling into the, uh, the Steel River gas station. All right, fuel, fuel station. Chevrolet CK1500, 61 out of 80 in fuel and... I just press that. Oh, there we go. I fueled up. Look at me go. Nice. Right, get rid of that. Spin it around. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I remember now. When, now we're playing this, I remember how much fun we had on Mud Runner. I really did genuinely enjoy that game. It was a load of fun. Did you go down to the end of the road and take a look at this motel on the left? I did not. I'm doing some exploration. I'm going to the... the did, wait, does that say the Hotline Hotel? Oh, no. Oh, the Hot... Holtland? The Holtland Motel. Oh, I think I found your house, Taco. My house? Where, where, what does it look like? 
can only imagine. It's it looks American with loads of land. <laughs> it looks American with loads of land. Yeah, you got the white picket fence there. I just blew it down with my horn. My horn is insanely powerful. <laughs> we got our truck. And it's a GMC. New truck discovered. GMC MH9500. Find the truck. So, have I just got to drive into this area? Truck discovered. You found your first highway truck. This truck is designed for roads, so there are no off-road options included. Try not to fall into the swamp or drive into deep mud with it. You can find out more about different types of trucks in the codex in the options menu. Okay. Right, so to enter the truck, open your functions, and then change truck. So, change truck. And then do that. There we go. Okay, bye little beast. It's gone. Repairing the bridge. We are now ready to repair the bridge. This truck has space for cargo. Every truck or trailer has a different cargo capacity measured in slots. This truck is able to transport two slots of cargo. Objective. Find the materials you need to repair the bridge and deliver them to the bridge building site. So we've actually literally got to repair a bridge to get across to the other side. Yep. To unlock the next part of the map. That's amazing. It's a really good idea as well. Oh, yep. listen to this. Let's get inside. Oh, this is so cool. It's like an old school. I thought it was uh, a different type of truck at first. Look at that. You got the old radios in there. Oh, there we go. The Irish pub. What do we got? What else we got? Let me just stop here a second. The inverse bank. Bookstore. It's like it. It's got Red Dead vibes around here. I like it. Old school town. Automatic loading provides a simple and fast way of loading without the use of a crane. Okay. So... Metal planks. There we go. Place them down. And then place them into this. Is that good to go now? A little bit of an off-road section to the right. I think we're good for fuel. I don't think I'll need to get any. Oh, wait. No, wait. Can I get through this? Can I just power through it? Oh, uh, well. Uh, yeah. Yep. I'm committed yep. now. Oh, oh you're no. you powering through the road road? No, I went around it. <laughs> That's what I was getting at. Were you you couldn't have told me that any later. <laughs> I got through, though. Did it? Nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they animated the construction of the bridge. Are you spoiling framework. it for me before I've even done it? That is so good. I'm, I'm making it exciting for you. Now you're going to be like, oh, I can't wait to see it. And I'll be like, yeah, that's, I already saw it. <laughs> Handbrake on. Cargo management. Old bridge construction. Right, so unloading cargo. When unloading the cargo, you may be presented with different unloading options as one cargo may be used to complete different objectives. While the current unloading area is used to only complete your current job, there may be others that are used in multiple contracts. So, X to unload. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And I did that all by myself, repairing the yeah. bridge. The bridge is on its way, but not there yet. To complete it, you should deliver another portion of cargo to the building site. The cargo you need is located on the local lumber mill. Check the map to pinpoint its location. So I'm guessing it's the lumber mill we passed before. Yep. yep. Yeah, that's where it's taking me back to is that lumber mill. Oh, it looks like we have to pick up the lumber and then there's like a, a saw on the map that we may have to cut some things down to size. Oh, I'm liking it. Wait, have I got to pull myself out? Have I actually got myself stuck? I got myself stuck too. <laughs> Change truck. Oh no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Is that, have they done that intentionally so you have to get the other truck? Come on. I think so. Mate, I'm trying to pick there. up the trailer and I'm stuck. I can't get I can't back up to it all the way. I'm gonna go right next to that that post. I think my right side of the truck is gonna get stuck. Come on, swing it round. Come on. There you go, get a bit of traction. Come on. You got this. Oh yeah. Big brain. That should be close enough, right? And then up. We want to attach the trailer onto the back. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can see the fuel and the tanks on the bottom there. Yep. Right, so is the trailer cool fully attached? Oh, yeah. She's going. She's moving. Oh, my wheels are just spinning. Yeah. This is a no-go. Right, okay, so how do I switch to a different vehicle? So open your map up, hover over where you parked your truck up before, and then... Okay. Yep. On the left-hand side, it says trucks and trailers. You can select your truck from there, and then you're able to select it and basically get into it. Oh, uh, okay, yep. Right, so making my way to the lumber mill, because I got my truck stuck. So did Taco. Yep. <laughs> we're not very good at this. <laughs> we well, we're great at this. I mean, it's, it's part of the game. You want to get stuck. <laughs> 
Oh, that works like a dream. That should be plenty now, surely. I'm thinking I'm going to take the low road, the, the road that I came into the lumber. Yeah, road. I think that's probably the best, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to do the same. You still have to cross that, that washout area, but I think it was the easiest spot. I mean, we've got our trusty little Chevrolet, so they can always winch us out if they need it. Right, yep. L1 and circle. Oh, there we go. That's such a difference. It is. Swing it left. Let's go inside the truck. Oh, you can get trailer view as well. Have you seen the heat haze from the front of the uh, truck? Yes. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm starting to slow down coming up. The oh, hill. no. It's over for you. You're going to get stuck? Nope, still going. Come on, yes. come on. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I nailed it, too. We're through. We're through. And then you want to hang a left at the top of this. And we should be right on track to get that bridge finished. Right, so deliver everything to the edge of the bridge. Wait, what is it we just picked up? The wood plank? So is that for, like, the bottom part of it? Like the yeah, walkway yeah. and stuff? Oh, yeah, there you go. Right, let's just double check that we're inside of that. Gotta be the truck. Parking brake on. Cargo management. And unload. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful thing. Look at that construction. The music. I've, I've got I've got it turned off. New driver yeah. rank unlocked. <laughs> when you get enough experience, you get a new driver rank. Every rank provides you with new options regarding vehicle and add-on purchasing. Objectives may also require you to reach a certain driver rank before they are unlocked. Press down to access your driver profile. Okay, so old bridge reconstruction. Well, ain't that beautiful? Looks just like you did it in the old days. Now you can leave the peninsula and reach the garage. I said it right that time. Start looking for your next contract. Okay, so what do the stars represent? Is that just the rank, like how much XP you get? I guess it is, uh, isn't it? And then the cash yeah, on the right. Yeah, yeah, that's your rank right now, I think. Every contract completed will give you, or will provide you with money and experience points. There we go. Every watchtower discovered will reward you with experience, which is the stars. XP allows you to unlock new driver ranks necessary to unlock new vehicles and upgrades. You can track your progress from the profile menu, which is what we're about to go in right now. So bridge repaired. Great job. You repaired the bridge and completed your first contract. Now the town is reconnected to the rest of the region. Time to find the garage, which is now marked on the map. Objective, garage. find the garage. It's garage, Taco. We're not doing this now, okay? We've been getting on so well so far. <laughs> right. Well, no, you, you said it proper earlier today. I just wanted to make sure that you keep going with that. Dude, we haven't even scratched the surface of these maps. Look how different they look as well, based on like the, the little logos they've got. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, 5% of Michigan, 2% uh, all, of all. You've only discovered 5%? What kind of trucker well, are you? you? To... I've discovered six. <laughs> you went Way to better other... trucker than you. You went to the water, other <laughs> watchtower and I waited forever. Remember that? Remember that when I sat <laughs> on the objective and waited? No, don't remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Driver rank true, eight thousand dollars. Right, are you switching back to the uh, the Chevy then? Yes, I'm gonna switch to the little truck just to explore a little bit more to go to the next area. I think I gotta do the same then. Right, so this will be the journey then. Let's go from this garage all the way around across the bridge, from like through the starter town, mm -hmm. up and around through the uh, through the off road track, and then we'll go through to Smithville Dam and see what happens when you try and go through one of those gateways. Okay. Still trying to uh, still trying to work out how to get onto the other maps from multiplayer. So. Yep. All right. Here we go. We're off. Yeah, these are cool, aren't they? These cans. These are cool. Big fat chunky tires. I like that. I like. You got some. Oh, you got ten wheels to me, don't you? I have any yep. tires for it. There weren't that many options yet available. I'm really interested to uh, to see what the chained stuffs like, like the chain tires, to see how that performs, obviously in the snow and things, because you have to do a little bit of grinding to get your uh, level up, like it says at the beginning. The higher the level, the better the stuff you get and the more things you unlock. If you go in first person in this vehicle, it looks like everything looks extreme. <laughs> like you're, you're whipping it. <laughs> it's going left, <laughs> it's going right. Oh God, yep. no, I'm gonna crash. Ask me if you need to. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can see. Oh yeah, yeah, I can, I can totally see it. You go, dude. I'm looking at you inside the, uh, inside the vehicle. In between what you've seen in the first half of this video and now with multiplayer, there's been like a day or so. So me and Taco have been getting used to the game and stuff. How have you been finding it, by the way? Because I know like yesterday I didn't really speak too much in terms of playing the game. How have you found it? How have you found the missions and stuff? Great. They're grindy, but a lot of fun. Each individual mission, each individual task is really hard. It's, uh, but 
I decided to go to try to unstuck a, a giant truck for the fa our farm <coughs> over by the garage. And uh, it took me easily an hour and a half just to get oh, that really? thing out. Yeah. Yep. Everything seems totally stable so far. I can't say 100% because the version we're playing on might be different than the one you guys get, but I can only imagine the one you guys get, if you are watching this video, will be even more polished. So performance of the game is, again, better than Mudrunner. So if that's the thing you're worried about, I can report back. It's good. Right, hold that's on. I'm going to so go good. into first person. Do this bit in first person, Taco, before you get to the end. All, All right. of it, re remainder in first person. Yep. <laughs> Motion sickness. Here we go. Big time. You've just really got to feather the throttle, don't you? You, you do. You that's start what pushing I thought it, too. <laughs> it starts whipping to the left and right. Come on. Come on. Get up there. Oh, you've gone. You've gone. This is this is one of the tunnels on the map that we haven't tried this yet, so we don't know if this is going to be a complete fail or not, but I'll show you guys on the map real quick. This tunnel here says Gateway to Smithville Dam. So, oh, Taco's already left for Black River. Okay. Oh, it worked. To Black <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so this is, this is legitimately the first time we've both been to this sector of the map, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's do a little bit of exploration then. So cool, we can travel zone to zone. Look at this view. All that wilderness. Oh my God. Massive body of water right in front of us as well. Oh, what's that over there? Is it like a house? Just on the edge of like a massive cliff. Oh, uh, it's probably the dam. Because uh, we went to enter the dam area, right? Yeah, that's probably the dam. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it is the dam. Right, do you want to go and do a little bit of adventuring around to that? Then? Right, let's see where we are from here then. So if we follow this road, actually, let's, let's, I guess let's just go. There's no point in even trying to look because <laughs> nothing is uncovered. Yeah, everything's invisible still. This thing handles like all of this map like an absolute beast. The only it problem is, is the fuel. It. That's it. That's the only thing. We could switch it up, like mix up to the actual trucks a little bit later on, but it makes life so much easier having these tires. Look at this. Let's just give it the beans through this. Yeah, but then the other vehicle would be having to use the winch. Oh, like yeah. This. Oh, look at this. Look how easy it's making it look. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Let's have a look. Look at that. It's, it's, it's a work of art. A long way. We've got a couple of nasty rock slides clogging up the river. Busky forwarding won't take responsibility because it's in the river. It's not in the road. We could really use your help with this. So we can actually work together then to do these missions. So there are some, it's actual co-op then. I like that. Let me uh, let me click accept. Do you get that? Yep, I got it. Oh, oh, that's nice. So you can genuinely work together to do missions. I don't remember if you could do that in in the other one. I don't think so. At least I don't remember it. Remember either. Oh yeah. Oh, I can. Oh, oh, good job. We got a snorkel. Oh, well, look at that. Nice. I think I may have just bit off a little bit more than I could chew. That is seriously deep. Come on, you can handle it. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. That looks so good, too. You're pushing the water. Let me see if I can watch you do it. Out your way a little bit, too. Oh, yeah. That snorkel's coming into action. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is so good. I don't think I've come across a, uh, a bit of water yet where I've been that deep, that, that, that submerged. The no, trucks are quite vehicle, high, aren't they, so. been, Yeah, we'd have been drowning out. Engine would have been taking it all in. What's that way? Oh, you can go up the mountain that way? Okay. Oh, yeah, this is this is the deep stuff. Right, just got to keep an eye on the fuel then. So I'm on 52 out of 72 liters. What's yours looking like? 62. I'm just keeping my foot in. I'm not letting off the gas. Oh, that's what happens. Oh! <laughs> oh, you landed on your tire. <laughs> you went flying. Holy cow, are you okay, buddy? So, okay? <laughs> so that's uh, that's how you flip them. You literally just bury your foot into the accelerator on these on these roads, and you end up doing a barrel roll. <laughs> there you go. I'm just gonna quickly change the stuff on my car. So engine, uh, which is better? No, the one I've got equipped right now is better. Gearbox, stock freeway which i haven't unlocked yet snow runner okay yeah so you can get you can get the uh, the snow runner gearboxes and stuff which i was interested in finding out can you get that sort of stuff off like different terrain extended scout an extended scout winch set up for a longer rope relatively small size and impressive 
reach makes it perfect to other lightweight scouting vehicles. Autonomous Scout, a low strength winch which is dedicated battery unit. Not as powerful as the common variants, but can operate even when the vehicle's engine is off. <gasps> that's handy when you flip, when you roll. That's what, yeah, that's what you need if you roll it and your engine's off. You can't use the winch, but if you have an autonomous uh, winch, then you then you can do that. All right, what color are we going for? I want it to stick out in the snow. Let's go. Let's go orange. I like the orange. Leave the garage. Oh yep. Yeah. Look at this beast. Right, interior view. Oh, that's super bright. All the dials are working. Plenty of space in the back. Let's do a... Uh, can we do a right? Oh, no. We have to go left here, don't we? Because the road was blocked off, I think. Yeah. Yep. Out of here, we do a left. Follow the main road down. And then... Just before we get to the bridge that's broken up, we'll do a right. And then we'll, we'll do a left. Okay, so I see where we're going. All right. Here we go. Following you. It really is so different. Like, when you play on the Michigan map for such a long time, you don't really realize you're playing SnowRunner. And then when you see this map, I mean, the first time we played it on our, uh, on our single-player stuff, I got stuck about 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yep, yeah, I'm not ready for this yet. Yeah, this this is uh, this is level two map for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, so you know how these things were uh, twitchy before? Yep. The uh, roads are icy now. Yeah, I know. I noticed I wasn't turning instantly, and then it took a second to bite. I'm literally holding the throttle down like the small... Oh, that's so cool. I can see you in my rear view mirror and my uh, my side <laughs> mirrors too. Oh, that's so, so cool. The little details. They do have options to turn that stuff off as well. If it is impacting your uh, performance on your, your system, you, you can turn those stuff off as well if anybody is wondering. Have you looked out of the left window? Right, hold on. I'm just gonna I'm gonna stop just so you know it's not like abrupt and break on. You stick you your head out, out don't you? Yeah, you stick your head out. Like <laughs> uh, I wish I could see you stick your head out at me, that'd be great. <laughs> I wish you could have like middle finger gestures and stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> that'd be so good. Oh, this thing is handling the snow like it was meant to be. Look at this. Oh yeah. Wait, let me just see. Do I have oh yeah, I do have a winch. So good. It the road turned into a river. Oh yeah. Oh, it handles <laughs> like a dream. You got some serious speed. Oh. I'm paranoid now because of that spare tire thing. I'm worried that we can like get a puncture or something. Then if you have to use your spare tire, it's game over. If if another one goes. Yep. Yeah, it's. it's like I said, it feels so legit when it comes to, like, you get one tire into the thick stuff and it pulls you in that direction. Yep. Look at the powder throwing up. So the physics that they implement in this game is, it feels like real life. Whoa! Oh, I flipped. I'm upside down. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, right, let's see. Never mind. I'm back up. <laughs> you... <laughs> you fixed it. Nice. Look at this though, this, this like, quiet little area away from everything else. Are you pulling some mud there? It's, uh, it's a little thick here, a little thick oh. here. <laughs> a, a little thick. <laughs> Your vehicle nearly disappeared. <laughs> oh, did a What's little damage there. Careful coming around the corner. Oh, another one. Oh, I'm first person in this. Ooh, I, almost, I did reverse and then went forward. I popped the wheelie, <laughs> almost rolled backwards. Come on, get up there, get up there, get up oh, there. Oh, this view though. I'm taking my sweet time. I don't want to get any more damage on the vehicle. I don't know how it's going to affect performance. There we go. Oh, yeah, you ain't kidding. Look at that. Wait, See are the, the, uh, are the tower towers down. different too? Oh, I can hear your vehicle like just crushing the trees. Crushing everything. Oh, oh. Beast. first person, first person down this bit. Yep. No gas. Oh, there you go. Beautiful thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, launch observation. There nice. we go, 50 stars. That. Trailer park discovered. I really like the colors of your car. It really does look retro. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, such manners. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. I don't want to roll again. Go, 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 oh, this yeah. is deep snow. Oh, deep, that's deep seriously snow. deep, oh yeah. 
See, even these monsters can get stuck. That's just how brutal these snow maps are. Oh, I couldn't imagine with uh, the scout. The scout handles well, too. The fleet star or something? Something oh. as big and burly as that, even with all-wheel yeah. drive? Oh, you pick up speed. Oh, look at you. you you've gone. <laughs> oh, you pick up a lot of speed. Oh, I rolled. <laughs> Wait, are you good? Uh, I'm still rolling. All right, I'm, I'm on my side. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I'm just making sure that I don't roll. <laughs> as, as, a, as a GG if we both do it. Oh, look at that. You can see the port from here. Oh, that's so sick. Right, I got you. Operation Rescue Taco. Right, get over this side. <laughs> What's the damage like on your vehicle? Um... How do we check that again? Uh, lower left corner, you'll see like the uh, the circle around the uh, engines and the gearbox and suspension and stuff. Oh, uh, the circle uh, is around the engine and it's almost full still. Oh, okay. So you, your engine's fine. Is anything else damaged or? Uh, nope, nothing. That's it. You golden? All right. Yep, yep. You know, cause <laughs> beast. So this is the port area then. So you're going to be delivering some stuff here. There's also, I should say as well, there's not just tasks that you have to do. There's like storylines and stuff, which, I mean, as far as we can tell, it looks that way. Like it lets you unlock more stuff. It gives you more XP, more money and things. So again, I don't want to spoil everything. I want you guys to enjoy it for yourself. But as always, if you do want to see more of this, you guys know what to do. Let me just go to the end of this. I'm going to go to the end of the dock. Oh, yeah. There's some kind of Easter egg or something out there. It's got... <gasps> We're good. We're good. <laughs> Imagine. Reverse, we, reverse we, anyway there now. We, we, we didn't come all, all that way just, just for the, the single little whip over to the left <laughs> into whatever the hell that was, and they just throw me into the ocean. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I'm, I'm going to be playing a ton of it for sure. I love <laughs> grinding games. the side of your vehicle. <laughs> Mine's in like perfect condition. We set off, everything was going perfectly, and then you rolled it like 20 times towards the end. <laughs> no, it is. It really, really is a fun game. If you if you enjoy this type of game, if you enjoyed Mud Runner and stuff, or you just enjoy like getting into craziness with friends, or again, even solo, it's definitely for you. Once again, all information will be down, a link in the description. Thank you once again to SnowRunner and Focus Home Interactive for sponsoring today's video. If you want to see more of this, though, guys, drop a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you all in the next one.